Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is the road to dusk. You can call me road, dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream musher, so I focus on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be better versions of themselves. I just realized I am not logged in for my captions. Give me a quick moment. <laughs> Today has been an interesting day. So, okay, start with that. There we go. Yeah, today has been a bit of an interesting day. Stream is going to be pretty short. I will let people know that now. Mainly because while I want to get all of the incentives and whatnot done, considering we are also at the home stretch, my brain is like, okay, now we can just pace ourselves, we can do this, we can do that, we can chill. And my brain kind of wants to still chill, especially since this has been... I I've been kind of doing stuff for my birthday for like the past three days. The Donathon, and then spending time with the Nuke Tears, which I'm hoping to spend time with Top Hat soon as well. So, needless to say, I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Trying to do stuff for my birthday makes things a little complicated, but we are rolling with the punches. So let's try not to waste too, too much time as we hop in for some drawing. If I poke folks to maybe hop in. Here we go. Okie dokie. So really hope that everyone has been doing well and a massive thank you to everyone that has been tuning in to streams and everything so far. When it comes to the Donathon, I do have some big news. Uh, considering we hit 110%, um, we like the incentives and promises have been given. Uh, the song that was heard live on stream is now live on Bandcamp with a pay as you wish feature. If you want to pay uh, to have access to it, if you don't, whatever's your choice. Um, I think the Nuke Tears are passed out, even though they had planned for a stream. So let me turn that off. And I was kind of expecting Drake to be here as well, but I think they are passed out, so do a little crop. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's see, now I need to be sure I have the right color for the face, namely the eyes. Really hope that everyone's been doing well. It has been a very interesting time for me, to say the least. Let me switch music so it's not as... Like, it's still chill, but not as super duper uppity.
Here we go. And they have no distinction between the sclera, the iris. So we'll just do this. Actually, we go. There we go. Okay. Just trying to get a little bit of excess. Alrighty, Dighty. This one should be easy to color in. Before we go too far, let's double check that it looks good flipped. The ear could be at a better angle, actually. Doesn't need to be that high. Probably even right there will be good.
because then if we flip it, no, not that way. That that's better. There we go. Okay. I just have to be sure that, like, back there has a. Have to be sure that the back there has the proper color for the hair. Set the background. There we go.
Oh, I still need to make her moth wings. I'll work on that after I have everything else colored. Just, I just, I just realized that like without them, she's a little, like her silhouette it really needs her, her wings. Here we go.
Okay. I just realized I haven't done a VR chat stream since like January, I think. Might want to do that sometime soon. Oh wait, yeah, I still need to add the wings. Should be good. Just need to get rid of the excess here. There we go. Just go underneath that. The base color. Okay. Sorry, I need to scratch my ear for a bit. Okay. Hey, Vitoris, hope you're doing well. Oh, my new phone case is coming in tomorrow. Oh, this makes me happy. I've been needing a phone case for so long that it has been legit, I shit you not, falling apart in my hands and in my pockets. So I'm happy to be getting a new phone case soon. <laughs> okay. 
can't chat too much, but I can pop in now and then. All good. We're going to be having a short stream anyway. Um, namely because I acknowledge that I am somewhat low on spoons, given that uh, the Nyx hairs took me out for some extra birthday stuffs. So that kind of took a bit of energy out of me. And I still... I still need to plan uh, stuff for a top hat to spend with to spend time with me. So I'm like, oh boy. Wait, that's too high. Nope, that's actually good. Okay. This is turning out a little sloppy, but fuck it. There we go.
Oh, woo, I thought you... <laughs> I was actually worried that you had fallen asleep. Nar. Oh, fair enough. Well, glad you're here. Nail Peyton. Ah, that would do it. And I'll save the adjustments on that for after I get everything colored in. Forgetting about their little horns. She is such an simple yet still somehow complex design. It's like it's a really nice and intriguing uh, silhouette with a very nice uh, color palette, very earthy. are. I decided I wasn't going to care about doing them meticulously, just want the darkness, therefore blackout nails. Fair enough! layer, but turns out not. Alright.
You know, I just realized something, like, kinda sad. You know, like, how people go off about, like, how, um, oh, cartoons and, like, cartoony styles are just for kids, and it's why so many people struggle to, like, work with, say, adult cartoons, or a lot of people tend to struggle, uh, to see how and why VTubers can be uh, adult content creators, especially in the Western space. It, at least to me, with what I've noticed with um, a lot of like adult content creators, not like adult as in like SW, but like just people that don't want minors interacting with their content, people that don't make quote unquote family friendly content. We tend to be kind of isolated because there's this assumption that, oh, making these cute animated content and all that, it's supposed to be family friendly and for kids, despite the fact that what we consider like some of the base and like beginnings of cartoons, especially in the West, were adult in nature. Betty Boop in the 1920s and early 30s was a sex icon. A lot of her cartoons were to get people riled up in various ways until the 1930s where she, uh, where because of censorship in the 30s in the US, she just became like a normal cartoon. She still dealt with, she still was sexualized a good bit but they tried to also show her in situations of everyday women in the US and that is what kind of led to like a downward spiral of popularity for Betty Boop and I feel like it's because of the censoring from the 1930s that have led to a massive misunderstanding of the creativity that can come from cartoons in the western lens because a lot of folks say they like watch anime understand that hey uh animated content can be adult can give gar can give darker themes existentialism things like that and i feel like it also then goes back to like shit like bluey and the latest episode in regards to them contemplating on if they're going to stay where they live or not currently. Stuff like that is a very important, if not also stressful and traumatic experience for a lot of kids to go through. And that's not even going into the episodes that Bluey has gone has talked about in regards to like, say, stuff related to having disabled kids, having disabled friends, miscarriages, abortion, things like that. Very real issues for not just kids, but also the whole family. And a lot of Westerners, namely conservative, the uh, hyper conservative Americans, want to go off to like, oh, children shouldn't be seeing this kind of filth and perversion. And it's extended into other forms of law to where recently Kansas passed a law requiring people to give their personal identification online to watch LGBT content or anything that has LGBT characters, meaning family friendly content such as the Owl House now is deemed perverse in the eyes of, of Kansas legislators and in the eyes of some hyper conservative Americans to the point to where we have to put an adult label on just something that is everyday, such as people being LGBT. And it's mortifying. So unfortunately, with this kind of pipeline that's going on in the US, I hope people understand where a lot of LGBT folks come from when we have been saying this shit has been going on for a while and people are just getting louder about it. And we're scared. We are rightfully scared. Because unfortunately, a lot of places that call themselves sanctuaries in our own country 
are super expensive to live in, and a lot of us, especially those of us that are in the American South, are stuck in a situation where we do not have enough money to afford our refuge to go and live in a better place, to live in a better state, where our protections and safeties are codified. So unfortunately, we have a... it's a massive ableism that queer phobia, like L LGBT phobia and Nancy trans rhetoric has its hands in racism and ableism and classism. And it's done on purpose, unfortunately, meaning a lot of a lot of low income LGBT folks such as ourselves who live in the Midwest. And I would count the Midwest as being getting close to be, if not already being just as shit as the American South are stuck in situations to where we have to go to, to where we have no way to be able to save funds to get us what we need, whether it is to move out of a state uh, that in, in going to a state where we are safe or to even just live and feel like we are thriving rather than just surviving. There are a lot of studies that have gone on about like how being LGBT, being disabled, being poor leads to us having higher risk of mental health and disability struggles. And unfortunately, with how much that people want to go off about like how, oh, we're the problem, we're the perverted ones, we're the predators, and thus we need to be done with, they are the people that go off about like how, oh, trans people are, are just predators and all that shit are literally just trying to kill anyone that they deem lower class. Unfortunately. I, I love how I tangented going on about like how first like the state of like cartoons and like how the double standard is when it comes to uh, cartoons and other forms of content that is deemed quote unquote family friendly and going into how that integrates with American politics and the current state of LGBT safety. <sighs> Really does work like that, though. Yeah. Just shows you how much the values of those that claim to be representing us are literally just holding if the pipeline that I have referenced is to hold any merit. 90 plus year old doctrines and social perceptions, which means if we also want to think back on what was going on 90 years ago, it was post-World War I, it was post-Great Depression in the United States, it was also during times of the Chinese Exclusion Act when Irish people were vehemently being systemically oppressed, a lot like this was also right after the point of where Hawaii was forcibly annexed and their queen was put into uh, was basically isolated like uh, like an abusive parent to their child. So a lot of stuff that people want to go off, especially older generations want to go off about like how, oh, the good old days. The good old days were a lot more about oppression, the, the, a lot more about the pre uh, oppression. And if people are just wanting to go back to how things were and claiming that that's where true values are, just admit that you're a fucking bigot.
Just admit that you were raised to be a racist asshole, and you want to maintain that because you think that that is what should be done because you are complicit with harm. Because this was also during the time when, like, say, Of Mice and Men was uh, taking place. 1920s. And if y'all don't remember that book with George and Lenny, at the very end, Lenny, as a disabled person who had accidentally been putting him and George in trouble by getting into accidental fights, by accidentally hurting people, things that he could not control as an intellectually disabled person, was fucking shot dead because other people could not deal with him. Do we really want to go back to that kind of era to where disabled people are literally shot and killed because people don't want to put in the effort to fucking take care of us and understand us? Because if we want to go that to that, if we want to go back to that level as a fucking country and as a tradition, as a culture, then it's not just disabled people that we're going to be killing, that we're going to be hurting. And I hope we never get to that point, but I'm too pessimistic at this rate with this fucking country to feel like we will actually go against going back. Not because I don't have any faith in this country and I'm not patriotic. Then again, I'm not patriotic because I can't be patriotic for a country for a fucking country that has values that want me dead. know the kicker that makes shit even worse because the u.s is a considered a developed country and first world first world country because on paper we are considered a quote-unquote good country despite the fact that queer protections and disabled protections are very quickly being taken away it will it makes trying to seek asylum in another country extremely difficult if not impossible why because they see us as the uh, other countries because of the united states status still see us as well off despite the fact that we are in constant danger realistically speaking so just because our country is deemed to be a quote-unquote good country, people that are in actual danger have to go through so much worse and the, in order to even get the asylum that we may need. We're throw the whole concept of first world country and third world country is bullshit anyway, considering it's rooted on racism and ableism. Exactly.
and fire truck outside. That moment when you nom, or do you wait for nom? I mean, if you have noms, go numb. No one's gonna stop you. But I'm hung- but am I hungry enough to numb? I mean, that's for you to figure out. Have like a small snack, um, and figure it out. If you got like some, um, seaweed or, or like something like that, you could eat that for a quick bit, because that's not a whole lot. And then go from there. Nori would be so good, but no, it has. Aw, oh, damn. Maybe I'll just not then. If you have some sort of noms, get noms. Boil some eggs or something, I don't know. Make some sticky rice. Like, make some sticky rice, make an omelet, bam! Homemade tamagoyaki. Tamagoyaki requires special preparation, or is it just an omelette, no de fromage? I mean, tamagoyaki... Tamagoyaki is a particular type of omelette, um, typically needing, um, needing uh, soy sauce um, with some sugar, salt, um, that, and that's honestly it. Ideally, if you have like one of those rectangular pans to roll it, you can use that. Otherwise, like no one's going to bitch if you have to use a round pan. Because honestly, tamagoyaki is just a cut of tamagoyaki with sticky rice and a small strip of nori, like the uh, surround, like on it so yeah at least that's at least that's kind of like the tamakuyaki that i've had in certain spots but the panda roll it into pretty shapes if i don't have it brain says no tamakuyaki it's omelet fair it's a case of stubborn brain i feel you Oh, okay. 
Oh, I need to also add... Also, quick mini rant, Chip Chilla, absolute ripoff of Bluey. Why? Because American conservatives don't think that children deserve emotionally gratified and emotionally engaging content. Because God forbid children actually feel comfortable with asking questions.
what I miss. Uh, not a whole lot, namely ranting about the state of the United States right now. Other than that, um, been working on several chibis for someone, for someone in the community. But Machado, hope you've been doing well. Um, I will be having stream pretty short uh, tonight, um, only until like midnight Eastern. Um, so it's namely because I had a lot going on today, and I did not realize how much uh, how many how much in spoons that it would take. So I'm kind of reaping the consequences of my own actions. There we go. Okay.
Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Time to be a menace. How so? Something to give me the giggly munchies. Oh boy.
sorry, trying to get a stretch in. still add the eyebrows that I have her daggum uh, wings and horns this time. Is that roughly where... Yeah. there. Yep, that's all good on the lining. Alright. 
Oh wait, I need to have the feet be like feet feet, not shoe feet. Keep forgetting about the dag um horns. get my brain to work. These actually could be 
shorter, just a little bit stumpier. Trying to get these consistent with after edits is annoying, but worth it. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. Oh, Kidoki. Just need to remember to. Okay. Okie dokie. Got just about a half hour left. Here's hoping I can get the lining down before. Well, I already have the lining down. I want to get the coloring down for this chibi before it end a stream. Because unlike normally when I kind of extend things when I'm hyper-focused to want to get things done, no, tonight... Tonight I have a schedule. Especially since... I have an early shift tomorrow, so I need to go to sleep at a somewhat decent time compared to what I have been doing for the past 48 hours <laughs> with the fucking donuts on. Because my circadian rhythm and sleep schedule is fucked. And 10 out of 10 would do it again. Map all the colors down. I'll keep... This time, I will keep all 
of the parts separate just because I now remember that I have to add that gradient onto not only the wings but onto the hair. my fill isn't filling 100% anymore. Oh, I still need to fill in the thighs. Here we go. Now for the hair. Mac. Fuck. Ah. Zelda! I'm gonna try to watch this and Twitch stream at the same time on my phone and having volume here will pause the other stream. Totally valid. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Always doing well when you're around, bud. Yee! Glad to hear it. Uh, I will uh, let you know, stream will be short tonight. I will be ending when it hits midnight Eastern, just cause I have work in the morning and it's an early shift. It's a short shift, but still an early shift. So, blech.
Oof. Ah. Here we go. Unmuting the stream for the time being just cuz e Okie dokie I can hear you answer <laughs> Okie dokie that should be good for the hair now Add a gradient on it because I kept forgetting about that last time.
me to that exact 50. Thank you. <laughs> Something happened for once the other day, and I forgot to tell you about it. Oh, what happened? I'll just have that as, like, white. I got VTuber merch in the mail from a pal. It's a little acrylic stand with her design on it. Hell yeah! That was a voice crack. But damn, let's go! on the entire I got some Pokemon cards with it from a, from their friend for being a wonderful part of the community. Yo! That's awesome. Keep it with that. Or was it two thirds? I think it may have been like fifty. This also needs the highlights.
All right. Let's actually cut the highlight where the eyebrows are. Because, yeah, it's above there. Okay. That's the hair done. Nice. Now let's get the skin. Oh, we're at six minutes. Six minutes till the end of the stream. Woo! Hope you're doing well. Those are pretty good. This is the third out of five uh, chibis for the spirals. And so we're making pretty good progress. Uh, slight caveat being that this will be the last thing uh, art-wise for the night. Just because I have an early shift to borrow at work. And I need to try and get my sleep schedule to something decent for me to be able to rest. So I need to lay down as soon as I can. Early shift, more like early shit. Yep. <laughs> to double check uh, the design again.
Okay. And let's double check to see that she looks good when flipped. Ah, could use some modding. But that will be done next time. That should be pretty easy to edit and fix up. Like, proportions-wise, just need to work on the the head a little bit. That's honestly... That's honestly it. That said, a massive thank you to everyone that has hopped over for tonight. With Picardo, uh, we're not able to write out to anyone. Um, so... And unfortunately, my bot is having problems again. So, if anyone wants to become part of the family well, become part of the family who in the hell said that if anyone wants to become part of the community keep track with any updates uh changes of plans regarding like when i'm streaming what i'm streaming uh things like that or want to keep up with any community events feel free to check out my card which includes all of my social info which also includes a discord uh like my streams the community is 18 plus do you know the when you hop in? You have 15 minutes to verify that you have read the rules, otherwise you will be temporarily booted by one of the bots meant to curb against hate raids and trolls. Do you know that we are LGBTQIA2 Spirit Plus, Neurodivergent, Disability, and Mental Health Forward? We also do our best to be in the, to not only be inclusive of, but also uplift and advocate for BIPOC voices regarding their own experiences. That said, um, I guess that's kind of all that we can do for like outro stuff right now. So, do know that while this is the end of stream, this is not the end of our time together as the Roads to Desk will always be open for another adventure. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. Please have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say. Bye bye.